Hello everybody and welcome to my next Let's Play. In this Let's Play we're going to be playing Dino Crisis, a game originally released for the PlayStation in 1999. I had played it back in 1999 when it came out, and I've probably played it maybe two times since then, and I've not played it in about five years, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, hopefully this turns out rather well. Uh, I've got my monitor adjusted, and we are ready to go here on normal difficulty. You have mail. So let's get it started. The second report from Military Experiment Facility. Agent name, Tom. I have successfully infiltrated under the guise of a researcher as planned. I have encountered no information regarding top secret development of new type weapons. But I have discovered there is an unexpected individual at this facility. The man is Dr. Kirk, the leading authority of our nation's energy research. Dr. Kirk was alleged to have died in an accident during the course of an experiment three years ago. The reports were premature and it appears that he is currently working as the head of a non-weapon project at this facility. The experiment is in the late stages of development. Regarding the staged accidental death, it appears that this country is somehow involved. Recommending that necessary actions be taken immediately. Refer to the data on Dr. Kirk. Operation Instructions. I'm late. It's time. Let's move out. What about Cooper? Forget him. Time's up. Wait! Wait! Right, and now we get to actually start some some gaming after about five minutes of cut okay. sequence there. This is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. 
Um, maybe this has been a wild night of partying for the guards. You know, a little song. Hey look, I'm about one minute into my, my next Let's Play and you get to hear a train already. How exciting is that? Hey, did you hear what he just called me? Forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. Alright. It's clear. Yes, it's clear. So let's follow him right into this gate. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. Right, so we would just want to take control of Regina and head over to, well, another cut sequence, obviously. Let me guess. This is some of your handiwork, right? Brass is still warm. These guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there, and ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean. But I still say you could have done this. Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. So, by sweeping the area, he means run into this material storage shack here. And there's not much to do in here. Actually, just run towards the back, and there's a key. Oh, you can see it right here on the shelf. This would be the backup generator area key. And back here, yes, there's a shelf. We can just push this out of the way. We'll actually get the first item is a resuscitation, and a resuscitation in this game essentially acts as more or less as a continue. When you die, it will take you take you right back to the previous room, or you know, some series of events that you had just done prior to dying. And I have not played this much, like I said, in a number of years, so uh, I'm just gonna run around and explore. I don't remember too much of the outside at the beginning of the game. Oh shit. Damn it. Okay. And I'm not used to opening up menus as I just finished playing Silent Hill 2. And by any time I finish any game... What? This key should work? Damn it. Backup generator area. Is this not? Yes? No? Okay, that's not the right key. Alright, warm brass, and make our way this way. How's the progress going with that security system? I don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in this facility has been cut. Same here. As long as that's the situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. Yeah, and Gale's already turning out to be a real prick, so let's just follow him through this gate here. Takes us to the backyard. And we'll go through this next gate here. And I'm only going to say this one time, but this game reminds me so much of playing a Resident Evil game, it's... it's astounding. Barry? <gasps> it's blood. 
That's disgusting. This guy has been eviscerated. Something like Tara's intestines straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. I'm also real glad that Regina, our lead lady here, is not a, a bitch, but more of a smartass. She's, she's actually fun to play with throughout this game. And one of the main reasons I liked the game. Um, she's got a very disproportioned ass, though. Yes. Alright, the backup generator room. And here we are going to check... Ooh, this... What is this? I'll put a battery in here. Okay, this will be used later, not right now. Right now we have to focus on the lever puzzle. And the trick here, there are, you see, obviously four colors. And three buttons. Just look on the wall and we'll see red, blue, green, and white. So, push the buttons in, in that order. Well, not in that order. You've got to, you've got to decide the order, but, um... Put the, uh plugs in that order, you know, and then we'll be able to turn the generator back on. And just run over here and activate the switch. And immediately we've got the generator rolling again. So we're just going to return to Gale now. <gasps> oh no. Gale? What's going on out there? Alright, go through this door. Hold on to your butts. Surprise attack in three, two. Gale! Gale! We can actually just run away from this guy, just run down the path here. Screw him. Uh, dodged slightly. Yes. And yeah. It, otherwise, he will claw at you. Out oh, like he's going to do now. Damn it. All right. Get through the gates. And yes, we're safe now. Luckily, dinosaurs cannot open doors, right? Ah, but obviously they can jump over. And luckily, there's another gate here. We'll get right inside. You can't open that door, you are too stupid. Good news! I got the control system back online. What's the situation over there? It's Gale. I lost him. <laughs> so what's the bad news? Did you run into some guards? You're not gonna believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big-ass lizard. For real? What's going on over there? Uh, Alright, head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. Alright, our next destination is the control room. And it's actually a very short journey, so... Not this way. Head over here and we'll head to the building office hallway. Well, right, that's kind of creepy. And clearly there's just one way to go here. We're gonna go up the ventilation shaft.
And you can run all the way down, and there's another opening, but for now, we want to go to the control room, so hightail it back over here. And I'm gonna pick this up first. What do we have in box number one? Shit. Some handgun bullets, great. And we're gonna trigger a cutscene by walking into this room. What's our status? This security system is a snap for me. Real amateur stuff. So so what exactly happened to Gail? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Any anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. What we What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. That's a great idea, but Cooper has the radio and he's missing. Hey, what's with this monitor? That that's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area. Ex exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. We can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground level. <coughs> okay. Then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You you work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back. 10-4, good buddy, 10-4. So, switch it up. Let's head out of this What's control room. This place anyway? Yeah, I'd like to know myself. We're just gonna exit here. And immediately run back to the way we came and we're actually gonna go through the management office up here oh and we get the shotgun right off the bat I actually completely forgot about that and the thing about okay we got a code disc here the thing about the shotgun in this game is it can be used to shoot, obviously, shotgun rounds, but also um, different kinds of darts that we can create and that we'll find, so it's pretty useful. Here's some information about the DDK or digital discs. There are two, obviously, a code and input, and each one's going to be labeled with a letter. And letters correspond to the door that they let you in, and that's pretty much all there is to that email. Grab the Leo key here, which is the first... Actually, it's the second panel key. And this guy's obviously been just a... He's had a bad day. And I know the number. 0426. Um, I'll show you in, a, in a, just a minute here where you grab that from. But we get the main entrance key and a resuscitation. These resuscitations actually will be rather handy later when the game gets a little tougher. And I'm just gonna save here. Oh, I've got an old easy save. <laughs> Go right over that. Regina, I took care of the shutter. You should be able to access the control panel now. Alright. Already? That was quick. Yeah, Thanks. exactly. Hey girl, just get going. So yeah, we want to watch out for this guy. Yes, there was a dinosaur here the whole time we were talking to this guy. But like I said, dinosaurs can't open doors, so we are safe. Pick up the other disc here, and there's a memo on the table. Read this. Take note, there's the combination for the 0426. And that is, that's it, that's it. Oh shit, clearly dinosaurs can open doors, so 
I'm gonna take this and get the hell out of here. Oh no. You've gotta move the controls to get him off you, give him a good kick like that, and run. Okay. Yes, that is one of the things in this game. Um, zombies don't open doors, but dinosaurs sure know how to, so. Uh. Oh no, do not push that. Push it now, yes. Oh shit. Gotcha. Alright, so we're gonna head into the main entrance now. Alright, I don't have to go back into that one room. And, as memory serves, this is more or less a gigantic safe room. Uh, I don't remember fighting anything in here, but I could be very well mistaken. It's, it's been a long time. Yes, I'm just picking up everything on the floor, and then we're gonna head out the main entrance. And there's not much out here, but if you run all the way down to the end by the gate, there is a torso. Some shotgun bullets, uh, the DDK N disc, um, also an item, and this file here. We'll just take note of the registration number 57036, and of course, Mark Doyle. Very interesting. I don't want to mix right now. I'm going to take an anesthetic dart and mix it with an anesthetic aid. It actually creates um, a very powerful mix. It also increases the volume of the item that we have created, so it's very nice to mix some things in this game. And that main gate is locked, clearly. And just head upstairs now. We can't get through the other door that's down here. The one that was to my left actually leads us back to the office hallway where we originated. Well, not where we originated, but when we first came into, we had to climb up the ventilation shaft because the... the red laser bar gate was turned on. I will pick up this, and I will also pick up this. What is this? Oh, shit. Some recovery aid. We will need this. This will come in handy. And there is a dinosaur in here. Alright, so the deal here is just to subtract the key uh, from the code. And that leaves us with H E A D head and we'll get right into this brown panel door here chief's room a survivor are you from the rescue team uh i yes yes i am do you know where i can find dr kirk kirk that fool What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here. Take this. What's this for? I, I don't know. He told me. Extremely vital. And we get the soul key. This reminds me of the police station in Resident Evil 2 for some odd reason. Here. Take this key card. Anyways, we are going to go pick up the disc back here. We've got the end disc so we can get through the downstairs door now. I am going to equip the shotgun because we've got a bit of a challenge coming up. And head over to the panel here. 
and just put the panel key, two goes into the right, and one is going to go into the left. They're basically just the shape that you see in front of Regina. Just match them up. And now we get to another puzzle. Here, uh, the trick is to flip the Sol and the Leo upside down, and we actually get the number 70530 or 037. Yes. I hope you don't screw like the time. Oh shit. And we get to T-Rex. Oh no, Doctor! Oh, shit. So yeah, this is why I equipped the shotgun. The trick here is to shoot him in the mouth as he's coming at you, otherwise he will bite your ass and pull you out that window. And I think it's like a one-shot kill type, type deal. And that was pretty easy, actually. The handgun, sometimes you shoot him and he won't flinch and he'll try and bite you and, you know, if he gets you it sucks, it's game over, so. And there's blood on the ground here, am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? No, that's not my blood, okay. Alright, we're gonna exit this room. And there's a dinosaur out here, we should avoid this bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna use the handgun again. I get more bullets with this. Uh. Damn it. What are we mixing? What are we mixing? Sure, why not? This will work. Shotgun shells are very important, so... I'm actually going to... Yes, I'm actually going to call this a session, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you back in episode 2 of Let's Play Dino Crisis. Thanks for watching.